Hey guys, my name is the Wicked Soul, and I'm new to Vidme. I had uh, like two old YouTube videos up on here, but I took them down. I'm starting over, so this will be a pickup video, and this is what I've gotten over the past few weeks. I don't know how long this will be or how many I'll do, because I'm trying to get through my backlog of games. So let's get started. So I got these two Yokai Watch plushies. From my sister, pretty cheap, and I also got these toys too. I don't know where they're from, but these are from, from the Dollar Tree, so only a dollar. Huh? And I got one of these new uh, McDonald's toys, and I got Bowser. And he just shoots it out. Kind of cool, I guess. I'm just gonna stay on the shelf, and I got some strategy guides. This one is Dragon Quest Builders. It has the Cover tore off, but for free, I had to find this for free, so pretty good. Pretty much got everything, so that's good. And I also got Splinter Cell Conviction strategy guide, pretty good too. It's actually the European version because it's the got the Peggy uh, thing, or, or maybe not because it has a thing on it. That's always wrong. Cause I, I usually somehow find like European and Japanese games sometimes. I got Mortal Kombat 4. This is pretty cool. And Fable. It doesn't have the poster, but I don't have any room for the poster, so pretty good. Alright. Bowser out of the way. And I've gotten this. I found this for free too. Deadfall Adventures Collector's Edition, but the only downside is it didn't come with the game, so It's got the soundtrack Making of DVD This is a little art book kind of cool and Download code for some stuff Empty box This is alright. I can buy the game digitally now, so let's pretend and I did get a uh, think did find a uh, Four disc Xbox 360 case, and I use that for Lost Odyssey since it's one of the better ones. So, okay, you got Mega Man X collection for PS2 for my birthday a couple months back. So, seven games in one. I've never actually played a Mega Man game before, so maybe I'll try it out sometime. Alright, so this little oh, Battler's Experience. For the Nintendo 3DS. Heard good things about this. Picked it up because it was cheap, even though all that tags are wrong. So, alright. Let's move on to Wii U stuff. I got I only got these for, uh, because they're cheap. The tags are wrong from Walmart. But, and this is pretty good because this one was, I think it's free on Xbox Live Gold, so. Pretty good, got a physical copy now, and then Transformers, Rise of the Dark Spark, never played it, but maybe I'll try it out. Let's try these, I got Rogue One, a Star Wars story, really good movie, uh, excited for The Last Jedi, I like how this one ended, how it tied into the other, movie, other one, pretty good. Also got Assassin's Creed. And the Star Wars over one on Blu-ray, so Assassin's Creed Blu-ray. I really like this. I'm a huge fan of the game series. Excited for um, Origins, even though I don't really like the Naval Combat in four, but excited for another one. I'm playing the Syndicate now, so maybe I'll do a impressions video on that sometime. So, yeah, I like how they did a unique take on the Animus, so that's pretty nice. Hope they make a sequel to this. Probably won't. Alright, so next, Little Nightmares. I got the 6th edition. I don't have the stickers that came with it or the box, but the little 6th statue, which is kind of cool. Nice game. I am going to do an impressions video of this, or the impressions list review. But see, it comes with a poster and the soundtrack. It's one of these cases with a double, double disc. Let me see if I can. I just hold this poster real fast. Pretty cool. Disgusting twins. 
of the kitchen area. You'll see more of that in the video I'm doing for it. Put this to the side. Put six to the side too. The chair. Got um, 20 hours per square five for twelve dollars. <sighs> I'm pretty sad how it turned out, but I'm gonna try it out since it's all updated and stuff. I'm really Pro Skater is one of my favorite series, so hopefully uh, it's decent enough. And I got Geometry Wars three dimensions of all for six dollars. Pretty good deal, I think. I'm not a huge fan, but got gotta get it for cheap when you can. Now I got Until Dawn Rush of Blood for six dollars. I don't have the PSVR, but I saw this and I was like, I'm gonna get the PSVR eventually, so might as well pick a game up that's pretty cheap. <clears throat> this one's probably a, the best deal I got. Less than three dollars for sticking to the man. I played this on Xbox One already, got a, a thousand game score and all the achievements. Really good game. I'm excited for uh the new one that's coming on the Nintendo Switch is it's um I can't remember the name. It's something with death. Flipping death I think. Pretty excited for that. Alright, so the last game is Persona five, premium edition, take your heart. I really like this game. I'm gonna do a review on it too, but it's gonna take a while. And plus, with the Atlas stuff, I don't. I'll have to look into what what I can say and what I can't show and stuff. So it comes with a Magana plushie. It's kind of cool soundtrack it's with some songs on it. It's pretty good. Really good. It comes with this cool steel book. I really like this. It's gonna be sticking out like a sore thumb with the PS4 games though. Comes with this awesome art book. Really good art in there. I won't show anything so I don't spoil anything. So, and it comes with a school, a school bag for Shujin Academy. So, it's pretty good. Pretty good. Really like the game. So you'll hear more about it once I do the review. Get this out of here. So, last year I got this pre-order box. Or display box for... Elder Scrolls Online Morrowind. Pretty cool. It's kind of damaged stuff, but we got to And I do have posters of Morrowind. I have multiple copies of this for free. So I can't beat free, so I might as well take some. And lastly, I got a bunch of Horizon Zero Dawn posters. The double sided one from Game Informer. Really cool. Nice. I don't know what I'm going to do with these. Because it's fucking. Uh, it's like how many are there? Sorry about the left side uh, with the black speck. I don't know if it's a piece of plastic under my phone camera or it's a burn mark. So I'll have to look into it. And, and that's it. So what, all what I got that I didn't show before on my older videos that I took down. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.